Hello my darlings, I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Let's just jump into my DIY number one. Wooden plaque from Dollar Tree, transfer on stickers from Dollar Tree, those romantic stickers, everybody need to have them in their life. Look how beautiful they are. So I'm gonna transfer them to the wooden plaque with a scraper, I'm going all over just to make sure the, the whole wording is transferred to my wooden plug. I'm using the roller too, so it can be nice. And when it's all done, I'm just removing the cover from the first part. And now I'm using a, another set of those stickers so I can fill out the hard plug. Doing the same thing on that other side as well. And then I'm gonna fill out the gap as well. I'm removing this part as well. I'm also gonna fill out that gap that is in between those two lines, just like that. And look how pretty it looks. Je t'aime, XOXO and all that beautiful words. Now, <laughs> I'm using a gel antique wax all over so I can make this sign a vintage rustic look. Don't be mad at me, it's gonna look beautiful. After I apply the gel, I'm removing it with a baby wipe and look how beautiful it look. In real life, it look very pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really loving it. Next, I'm using these cute tassels purchased from Hobby Lobby on sale. I think I got them for like $4. And I'm gonna fill out the heart with all that tassel on the edges, just like that. I'm just putting a glue and going all over the edges of my heart. Just like that, super simple. When I'm done with the sides, I'm adding one of those keys from Dollar Tree, but I don't like that sparkly gold that much. I'm also adding a gel antique wax so I can make that gold a little bit like a rustic-y vintage look. So I'm just going all over the key and after that I'm removing it with a wipe. And look, I really got the color that I like. Next, I'm just cutting two little ribbons and I'm gonna connect my heart with a key. Just gonna put them on the end, adding with my staple gun and my sign is done. Beautiful. Today, I'm a part of the Plaid Ambassador collab hosted by Annie and all of those beautiful ladies and also we have a giveaway we have a plate price in order for you to enter for the price you need to watch the playlist each creator will feature a plate products and mention a single product for the giveaway you will need to comment which plate product the creator mentioned and in order to enter you must be in the continental us and here is any if you haven't visited her channel, please do so. Annie, thank you so much for gathering all of us together. And the links from Annie and the whole playlist from all of these amazing ladies will be in my description box. Let's just jump into my DIY number two. I'm using another hard wooden plaque from Dollar Tree. I'm using a couple of those uh, sheets. They look like a rice sheets to me because they're like a clear and based on the material. And I'm gonna decoupage all those beautiful sheets on my wooden plaques. First, I'm measuring them with a pencil where I'm gonna cut them off before I place them in my wooden plaques. 
I'm just cutting them just like that and I'm using different designs they're also pretty vintage looking I'm really liking them I, I think I got them from Hobby Lobby last year either Hobby Lobby or Joann's very cheap for a few cents Next, the magical touch of Mud Podge. Mud Podge is the secret for all the decoupage, for sealer, for protection, for glue. It's a Mud Podge. So I'm presenting today a Mud Podge and showing you how can I decoupage beautiful pieces very low on a budget and they're gonna look very high end. So I'm just adding my sheets on top of the plaque, just like that, using the roller, using my hands, going all over again with a Mod Podge. I'm using a gloss Mod Podge, but there is so many kinds of Mod Podges. We got outdoor Mod Podge, dishwasher safe, made finish, I mean name it. There is so many of them that I don't even know. On the screen you can see all those different Mod Podge styles. You can also check the plate website. And I am really loving using Mod Podge. I use almost Mod Podge in every video of mine, in every creation, in every DIY that I do. And I'm really enjoying working with the Mod Podge. And I can tell you that I'm a proud plate ambassador using their beautiful products starting from paints, mud podges, everything that you need when you craft. And if you haven't visited their website, what are you waiting for? So as you can watch me, I'm finishing my second hard plaque with a different kind of rice scrapbook sheets. And using my mud podge going all over. I'm using uh, roses and uh, music notes. Thing. it looks so pretty and those sheets are clear so when you see them that's why I, I'm thinking those are rice sheets because I used rice sheets before for a decoupage and that's how this material look like so I'm just going all over with the roller just like that and they look beautiful on, a, on the wood To the third line now and the last part and I'm almost done with this plank now I'm getting my two hard plaques together and I'm gonna put them together as a one beautiful sign and on top, I'm adding one of those beautiful heart cutouts, also from Dollar Tree. I'm using uh, antique wax on this one as well, on this heart. I'm just going to glue the two hearts together, just like that, and adding that little heart in the middle. And this beautiful Valentine's Day sign is done let me know what do you think i'm really loving like a vintage shabby chic look diy number three super easy i have this recipe wooden box and i'm gonna decoupage it with tim holtz uh, decoupage paper to make it easier for me i'm removing those metal handles that they're connected to the box so I can decoupage it way easier. Just like that. When all that is done, simple. Mod Podge and the Tim Holtz beautiful vintage paper. And look how pretty. I'm really into all time vintage French country, French shabby chic look. 
and this one i am really loving it i have those sheets for a while but i guess today was the day to use them and show them to you how easy it is to decoupage it with the help of a mud patch of course so i went all over the sides and when all that is done i'm also to seal it adding the mud patch on top of the paper and also i'm gonna do the cover as well first i'm doing the sides very simple and super easy this sheet is so easy to work with it doesn't make any gaps or any problems you just mock budget it and you just do it with, a, with your hands and it's all nice and smooth all over the surface going on the back the same process and I hope I'm giving you some inspiration for you to try it at home that we don't need to go and buy everything we can make it and it's gonna be super cheap but it's gonna look very expensive at the end so I'm doing the inside as well just like that cover the top I don't worry that it says recipe because this paper it's all full of words so it's probably it's gonna look like it's done on purpose so I'm gonna cover the top as well and look how pretty it came out adding the mud patch as a sealer as well all over and now I'm gonna put the cover on top Put the handles back. Super easy and professional. Like we ran out and we bought this beautiful jewelry box. I can I'm gonna keep my jewelry box in my bedroom. Actually everything that I'm creating today is gonna be in my bedroom set. So beautiful and romantic and it's gonna match my bedroom as well and the second handle now on top I'm adding those beautiful wooden cutouts I was thinking should I do trust or forever so I just add forever on top of the box and I'm adding those beautiful 3D looking metallic stickers. I add four for the corners of my box. I don't know if you can see it, it looks very cute. And then I'm adding two keys. They look like a keys to me. And adding one key on the side and I'm gonna add one beautiful rustic heart on top of forever and that's it and my box is done let me know what you think I am really loving this and for the last DIY I got these cutouts that it says you and me so I'm using antique wax again going over using the baby wipe and I'm using this beautiful wooden frame also using antique wax and for inside I decoupage it with the key notes sheets and adding those beautiful wooden heart cutouts adding you and me letters and put it all together and look how beautiful it looks let me know what do you think I hope I gave you some inspiration for this super easy, very cheap and high-end looking 
creations for Valentine's. Not just for Valentine's, they can be hanged and they can be in your bedroom for the whole year because they're really beautiful and love is to celebrate every day what do you think and that's how i see it not just on one day we can celebrate love every day be happy be positive full of music full of energy most of all be healthy and before i let you go i talk too much i'm sorry <laughs> i had so much fun creating all this before i let you go don't forget to watch the playlist visit Annie's channel as well and don't forget to enter for the giveaway links in my description box and until next time i'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy from me to you i forgot one more thing you have until next friday to enter for the giveaway good luck bye bye